So the subject of altars is central to enabling God to interfere legally with the world of men. So the summary of the subject of altars is a strategy by which we can allow God legally interfere with the world of men. I took a study of the Bible and I found out that one of those men that revealed that the way God ordained human life is that every human being must have an altar in every location where he or she spends his life. You must have an altar at home, for instance, and if you run a business, you must have an altar that powers that your business. Those of you that are into buying and selling and into business, you know the stories that we hear at Modern Market again and again, how people bring things to help enhance sales. You are going to be very ignorant if you think you can make profitable sales where there are competitors and you have no altar backing your trade initiative. All you came with is a business, a degree in business management from Benue State University. Your doubts will be clear when you come into the economic war front because it takes power to get wealth. I speak in parables. Hallelujah. Okay. So in view of the fact that God has given unto the children of men this territory called the earth, it is only entities that are invited that have the legitimacy to operate here. I need to give you a few scriptures before I begin my definition. One scripture that comes to mind so powerfully is the book of Matthew chapter 18, beginning from verse 18. All of these scriptures reveal earthly permission for heavenly interference. Matthew 18, verse number 18. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Are you there? Do you notice that this entire protocol must be initiated upon the face of the earth? In order to get heaven involved, earth must take the initiative it must, must propel the process with an activity of priesthood. Verse 19. Are you there in 19? And again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them by my Father which is in heaven. Do you still... Have you still noticed that it's the earth that initiates the process? Nothing will happen if the earth keeps silent. When there is silence in the earth, it means that the heavens have been bound from entry. It is the initiative that arises from the earth that attracts heaven's attention. Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth, it shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever ye shall lose on earth, it shall be loosed where? In heaven. Heaven will become involved the moment earth takes the initiative. In fact, you are likely to be able to take advantage of the resources that are available in heaven if you understand priesthood. Setting up an altar is the wisest thing that a mortal can do because by so doing, you can get reinforcement from heaven. By so doing, you can be connected to heaven. By so doing, you can use the resources of heaven. And so Abraham was one of those people that discovered that human life is a danger if there is no spiritual re reinforcement, no spiritual covering, no spiritual impute that swallows up the insufficiency of human life. Our, our African elders, discovered this insufficiency in humankind and that was the reason why they joined themselves to vicious demons very vicious devils it is as a result of 
the knowledge of the insufficiency of humankind that prompted them to ally themselves with demonic spirits and that promised to have the ability to provide reinforcement, covering, protection, and what have you. But the Bible is saying that we can maximize the resources of heaven if it takes the initiative to set up an altar. We can connect heaven to earth and we can take advantage of the resources that are domiciled in heaven if the people upon the face of the earth have the spiritual knowledge that is required to bring heaven into partnership. 